Are you headed out to stock up for your Easter celebrations? While you're out, pick up the ingredients for these beautiful, inexpensive coffee filter flowers. They're as gorgeous to look at as they are easy to make. Here's what you'll need to make your own. Coffee filters, food coloring, paper cups, scissors, a shallow dish or pie plate, warm water, a hot glue gun, a cooling rack, and a baking sheet. First thing we're going to do to make our own is dye our coffee filters. You want to take about 10 coffee filters at a time and mix up your dye solution. I love these neon food colors because they give a really vibrant effect. We found it best to use one cup of warm water and then 10 drops of food coloring. Once you have your dye solution mixed up, kind of swirl it a little bit. Take your coffee filters, I want to make sure that I've got about 10, stack them all up. Turn them upside down and set them directly into the dye. It's important to use warm water because that will make the dye soak up into the coffee filters faster. Watch them closely. Once they reach the top edge of the coffee filter, you want to take them off to dry on a rack. Make sure that you have it kind of splayed out naturally. You don't have any parts that are crushed or bent because it'll dry that way. Now these need to dry completely, so I went ahead and made a few different colors so we could get right to making the flowers. Our next step is to trim down this paper cup. This is actually going to be the frame for our flower. You want to trim it until it's about an inch and a half tall. And now it's time to start building our flower. You want to choose two colors, three coffee filters for each one. I'm going to use this aqua and this pretty pink. So we have our two colors. We're going to stack them up, flatten them out so that we can fold them in half. Once you fold it in half, go ahead and cut a one inch notch in each fold. Now fold in half again. Cut another slit in this fold and then one in the middle. These are going to make the petals of our flower. And now take your scissors and trim away these corners to make a rough petal shape. Don't worry about getting it too perfect. Once they're all layered together, it looks pretty seamless. All right, we're ready to start assembling our flowers. Take your paper cup and put a dollop of hot glue in the center. And then take whatever color you want the inside of your flower to be, and press that into the glue. Push that firmly in, and then kind of push the petals out and over the edge. This is going to help cover that paper cup and give your flower some shape. We're going to put another one on the inside. So put another bead of glue and push it inside. Once that's in place, we're going to take the last one of our blue flowers we're going to glue it on the bottom of the cup and up the sides. So kind of press it all around there and make sure that it's firmly attached and covering up most of your paper cup. And now we're going to add our pink layers. We're just going to glue these along the bottom. The innermost pink layer, we kind of want to glue up along the sides so it keeps that flower shape. That's cooled off. So we're going to add one more layer. <laughs> this one we're really just gluing to the bottom. And last one. These are so pretty. There you go. I'm going to fill these with colorful candies and use them as part of a beautiful centerpiece. Not bad for just a few pennies and a trip to the grocery store. I'll see you guys next time.